Hello everybody, today I've got something a little bit different. I'm gonna try my hand at tailoring a jacket, which I've never done myself at home. I'm going to take in the sides a little bit on this jacket. I've been watching some YouTube videos on it, so I think I can do this. All right, so let's go. Hello everybody, it's Robert Powers. Four and a half out of my five. My shoe collection. These are made of shell cordovan. Can you tell the difference? Now here they are finished up. I'm not a professional. Look how tight this is though. Very clearly here, I just cut the thread in half. And here they are, all finished up. All right, guys, let me show you the objective here. And I've got my wonderful assistant over here, my wife, Amy, who's oh so thrilled to be doing this with me if you want to come on over. Um, this jacket, if you can see, it's not bad. I think the sleeve length is pretty good. Uh, but the sides, um, you know, it's not, it's not horrible, but it just kind of, she's already started to take in this side a little bit, but it just doesn't, it's just a little bit too big. Okay, you see? Um, this is not a slim fit jacket, it's more of a classic fit, I guess, but I want to just take in the sides just a little bit, give it some shape. So if you want to go ahead. Uh, All right, guys, so here's how the jacket fits. It's not bad, but you see how it just kind of boom, kind of goes straight down. Um, I just want, I'm not, I don't want to do a lot. I just want to take a little bit. This is not supposed to be a modern flit, fit, slim fit jacket. You can see the sleeves are not that tight. I'm not going to mess with the sleeves. Um, but if you want to go ahead and aim. And we're going to start with, you want to show them the seam. There's better lighting on this side. Can you see the that seam right there? I'm going to do nothing at the top of the arm. I'll just take in, I don't know, it's probably going to be like half inch, maybe an inch along the sides and try and take some of that out. So if you want to go ahead and I don't know where you want to start. Give it a little, does it give it a little more shape? I think it could go a little more, maybe. And you also gotta go at the bottom. You should do something here then. I think you just need to take it in a little more. Could you take it? I don't know. And go all the way down if you wouldn't mind. I think you need to taper it out because that's big hips, you know, at the bottom. Right? Now that thing I want to make sure, yeah, I think that, I think that's pretty good, isn't it? Now I have some shape through here, much, much less room through here, right? And what I want to be careful of though is it doesn't spread open here. I think I'm good, right? And it's maybe a little bit, do you see I'm starting to create a gap there? You can see my shirt. Yeah, but you don't have the second button closed. You never button the second button on a man's coat, never. Goes back to like King Henry the Seventh or Eighth or one of those guys. Um, I don't mean to be a pain, but could you let it back? Less. Yeah, a little less, a little bit less. See, because you know now I'm getting that that shirt peek into that's gonna look terrible. So it's just a down here towards the bottom. I think the top is okay, but the bottom is taken in a little bit too much. I think that's good, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's see how much it's taken in. I can't really see. Okay. So you can see there. I'll measure that. I'm not sure how much that is, but okay, I'm gonna pin all the way through. So just uh, so how many pins? You got two there. Okay. And did you do about the same on this side? So it's not a lot. Okay, and then kind of taper that out. Okay, you guys see that? Okay, so here's the beginning of the seam. If you can see it. So the seam, the seam starts right here. Uh, right there is where the seam starts. And so I need to taper it from zero to that mark. And then from there, back out to zero, probably about here. And uh, this is the, like this chalk stuff. 
Hamish tacos, three bucks at Hobby Lobby. Now I've got both sides marked. You can see there. Where it needs to come in, about even with the bottom of the pocket. And on this side as well, tapers out about even with the bottom of the pocket. And the pins keep coming out. Now the next step is to open up the bottom of the coat and you see the stitches there? They look like hand stitches to me. Maybe this was altered once before, I don't know. By the way, I didn't show you. Uh, this is an Austin Reed London England Express sleeve for Dillard's. Um, I don't think it's a particularly expensive jacket. Um, it's, I like it, I like the pattern, I like the fit. And I believe it might be half canvas because I can pinch the fabric here. I feel the lining inside, so I think it is half canvas. So it's not, not you know, not a low quality, not a high quality, but, um, you know, not too bad jacket. And uh, it does say, actually, here, made in USA of imported fabric, so that's not bad. Um, so, but I need to open up the bottom and then turn the jacket inside out. Now here is taking the jacket and turning it inside out, which I'd never done before. Things always look easier on TV. This part was extremely disorienting. Once you turn it inside out, you see panels and pockets and flaps and edges. And I was surprised at how many pieces of, uh, you know, little string and thread were hanging off. And the sleeves didn't come back through, which I was expecting them to, but it's kind of confusing and complicated. It makes a difference whether it's uh, double vented on the sides or center vent, single vent, or no vent, like this one is single vented on the, the middle of the back. So here you see me just kind of snipping off some of those extra threads that just were kind of annoying me. And to be honest with you, like I said, this is information overload. I'm trying to get my bearings as to what part of the jacket is what. Uh, but you'll see here in a second, um, I kind of regain my bearings. Um, and figure out where that seam is that I'm actually trying to repair. So um, I kind of figure it out. It just took me, so it took me some time. So by the way, here's the half canvas, right? You see this? It is separate. This is the chest area. Where's the canvassing material? Got like a fabric. And I know in the expensive jackets, they say it's horsehair, but you see there's a couple different layers of fabric there creating the chest padding. That's pretty cool. And there's the back side of the jacket uh, with a kind of another lining on it, or I don't know if that's part of the fabric. So it is half canvas. That's cool. And I think the side to seam that I'm trying to do, this is getting really confusing to be honest with you. Right, I'm probably not doing this right. Where's the seam? So this is the seam that I want right here. This right here. I think that's enough to get to it. This is the seam right here from here. Right through there.
So I've got it pinned back up. This pin just marks the start of the fade in. Let me see if I can turn it inside out. So there it is. That's all it is. I know that line is rough and kind of bad, actually, but that's enough where I can tell how to put them together. Just going to show a nice straight line starting here and tapering back out. So the sewing machine I'm using here is a Singer Fashion Mate. I think we got this at Hobby Lobby. It was a couple hundred bucks. Not the easiest thing to learn to use. You got to learn how to, there's directions on it, but you got to learn how to thread the needle. The thread will sometimes, if you're not careful, come pull back out of the needle there. Uh, you know, you do have to learn to use this and that's not the point of this video, so I'm not gonna go over that. It's got some black thread in it, which I think is fine because the thread shouldn't even show because this thread's gonna be on the inside, okay? So here's the outside of it. I messed up. I knew I would. That's why I'm doing this on a $10 thrifted jacket. The, the fabric moved. Um, so I'm going to rip the seam back apart. So here's where I'm at. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, but I'm kind of learning in my usual style, which is... Watch, read, do it, but don't do what I saw, kind of botch it up, and then circle back and watch again, and then say, oh, now I understand why those details were important. First detail that I skipped that is apparently important is to press out the seam. What that means is this is laid flat uh, when the jacket, you know, uh, was con uh, finished being making, and there's that's pressed down. You need to iron it flat to get that out. Uh, and what happened was, when I was trying to sew the fabric together, the one side did this. So make sure you press it out. I went and did that downstairs um, and repaired the little hole that I made when the fabric, the stitching went awry. The other thing I figured out when I watched the Aspiring Gents video again, uh, like a fourth time, is how he transfers a measurement from the outside to the inside. So in short, I, I finally understand it. In short, what you really do is the first step is obviously you, you, know, you pin it you know, like my wife did on the outside. Then he measures the, he marks the fabric while it's pinned, then unpins it. And then when you unpin it, you have two lines. They're not really very visible on camera here, but you have two lines. Then what he did was he measured how far apart those two lines were. Let's just say they're an inch. Well, it's doubled on the seam means it's a half inch on the left side of the seam, a half inch on the right side of the seam. So then all he did was when he went to the inside of the jacket, the way you transfer that measurement is you just measure a half inch and a half inch. The only thing you have to have some kind of frame of reference for is, you know, the, if the seam starts narrow, comes out and then tapers down, you know, where does it taper? Where does it go to the full inch? Does that kind of make sense? So those are the things that I'm figuring out. Uh, so let me give this another try. Okay, so now it's repinned. You can see there where I pinned it on that side. I did a little better job of pinning this time, put like three or four pins in instead of just two. It now does give it some, some I have some shape, right? See how it tapers in a little bit. Now, granted, this is still an off the rack, you know, jacket where it's got, you know, the armholes, this is not bespoke, you know, it's not a made to measure. But I wish this could come in, but that's actually my hip bones there, right? So, I mean, I, I actually have kind of big hips, um, so. I think this is pretty good though. So now let me transfer those marks onto chalk and then measure it and then transfer it to the inside. And I know that by the bottom of this pocket flap, it should be 100% gone. So it should start tapering in there.
Now, let's see. So when it, it widens out too, that's an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, inch and a half. So it's inch and a quarter, inch and a half, inch and a half, tapering down to zero. Now I got to do that on the inside. Yep, it's about exactly inch and a half. Oh, and I guess I should measure. It's all in by, if I go from the start of that seam, by about five inches. Five inches down is where it's all in. I just measured from here, that mark is five inches down. So this is where I need to be all in at an inch and a half by, and I gotta measure in three quarters of an inch on each side from the old seam. I don't know if you can see it, but the old seam is right there, not from the edge of the fabric, but from the old seam. Okay, I'm really nervous. I don't know if you can see the line, but I've got the line. Um, I'm just inside it here, that'll be fine. I'm gonna come taper out into that. The key here is I gotta reach up inside the fabric, keep the other layers, right? I gotta keep this area flat on both sides. That's, that's I think, the big trick right now, is just to keep the fabric flat so it feeds through nicely and I don't get you know the fabric bunched underneath and I can feel the fact that it's flat or not. I'm really nervous about this because I already screwed this up once. And every time I touch the fabric, that line goes away. This is a lot more difficult than it looks on TV. I will say that. Okay, I just did all that and nothing stitched. What the hell? Oh, this is so frustrating. I just found out why nothing stitched. It actually worked. I don't know if I videotaped that. This has been so stressful. I'm not good at this, guys. This is my first time doing something major like this on a piece of clothing I care about. Original, my line. See, it starts right there and ends there. See where it comes back together? So I'm going to try it on now. Okay, it actually worked. This side is not done. This side is the one that's done, do you see? Got a little bit of shape there, All right? I'm, I'm just, the only thing I'm worried about is this thing comes open too much, but. Do you see the difference? Can you tell the difference? This side is straight? Yeah, it's working. It doesn't look bad. It's not even pressed out yet. I gotta press that hem, but yeah, I think we're in good shape. This is the other side I have to do, but see how it's ironed flat? I gotta go iron it so that, uh, iron that out, I guess, to iron this flat, or else it's just too hard to sew. I'll be right back. Now I've got that seam pressed flat, and if you can see here now, it's, it stays flat. 
with both sides together, or I can actually handle it. You see that? Now I need to do the same measurements, coming out to three quarters of an inch and then tapering at the pocket. All in by there. Once I iron it out, I think I think we're in good shape. Now what I have here is I have a double seam. I need to remove this seam. So here it is. The only thing I don't have done now is I need to reattach the lining at the bottom. I'm trying to show you the seam. I think it came out pretty well. I'm trying to stand naturally. For my first attempt, I'm delighted. Let me reattach the lining at the bottom. Now, in theory, there is extra fabric now in the lining here, but I'm absolutely not going to touch that. It's never going to be seen. If this bunch is a little bit on the inside, way above my pay grade here, I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pole right now. But this round here, this down here at the bottom, is just what I need to reattach. And here it is, all finished up. Only thing that could be better is this. And I was messing with that before I pulled it in. Um, I think this has more to do with this, you know, where the collar is and, and that kind of stuff. And that's way, way beyond my capabilities. But I think it's much improved. It's got some shape to it now. I think it fits me better. The sleeves look good to me. This shirt's a little shorter. If I had a longer shirt, it would show a little bit of cuff. But I would call this a success. I did pull that together. It's not perfect. You can see, like, for example, here, I got a little bunch there, but where I tied it off, but I'm not messing with that. 
So here's the final result, but let's put a frame of reference around this result. So we have to look at this as this is a dude at home, because remember, this is not a how-to video. If you want the how-to, I'm going to link it in the description below to the Spiring Gent videos that I used. Uh, this is not a how-to. This is you guys just following along with me. It's a $20 thrifted sport coat that for the first time of me doing any real tailoring, trying to learn something on my own. From that standpoint, I mean, I'm very happy with the result. If you look at it from the standpoint of you are a professional tailor or all my suits are bespoke, yeah, of course it doesn't fit well. You know, this extra fabric uh, around the chest area, and you can see what I did actually created a little bit of a bunching, just a little bit of a fold right behind the armpit there. Um, so if you look at it from that standpoint, of co course you have something to pick on. Um, you know, so from that standpoint, yes, it's obviously not perfect. Maybe I should have been a little bit less aggressive with how much material I took out and taken some out of the center seam is kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, but this is a great learning experience. I found the only way you can, you know, figure this stuff out is by actually doing. Um, so I I'm pretty elated with the way it came out. You know, it created some shape and, uh, you know, uh, I still have closure. You don't see the, the shirt poking out from where the second button is. And, um, you know, uh, I think it's a big improvement on what it was. So uh, please be easy on me. I'm curious as what you guys would actually think and if this is something that you would ever attempt on your own as well. So let me back up a little bit here. This shirt is, uh, the other one was on the short side. This one is on the long side. Hey, how you doing? Right? Shaking hands with somebody. I'm happy with it. I'm going to wear this proudly. I wouldn't wear this anywhere. Yeah, like I said, it's not perfect, but hey, how you doing? You know, then you start to overanalyze things, so. In further retrospect, I think you also just have to be very careful when you're pinning the garment. In other words, I didn't pin the top. I just assumed I would blend out the one and a half inch, you know, take up space up into the armpit. Well, I guess what I'm learning is you have to be very careful when you're pinning the garment because that's going to really show you how the result is going to come out. So um, I learned a lot by doing this. Hello everybody, today I've got something a little bit different. I'm going to actually... Ugh. Hello everybody, today I'm going to... Hello everybody, today I've got something... Why are you frowning? I'm not. Okay, you're like frow scowling at me. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for watching guys. Please feel free to subscribe and comment below. And have an amazing day. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, go to my YouTube page, Robert Powers, and then click on Playlists. And from there, you can go to things such as before and after videos, where you'll find a whole list of videos similar to this one.